Well, I moved down here from Pennsylvania, you know, it's like, well, I lived down here for a time, uh, 16 years, married and everything else, but, oh yeah, if I can take that stuff, I can take it up there to the, you guys want to help me? Take that up there? <laughs> I don't know what really how to handle the Quita, man. We going to uh, the one way, the wrong way. Country court. You know what country court's at? We'll meet any bus the oh, water line. Oh, yeah, what about that late uh, at night? Right on to the water line and bust the pipe. Water should all the place. Bree, this is, you, you've seen this camper. You know what kind of shape it's in, it's an older camper. So, well, it wouldn't be acceptable if she's got some money. How much you pay? You two fifty. Five fifty plus. Five fifty plus the fee. We gonna take uh, full payment. Full payment. I don't play. I don't know what to expect with Laquita. We she's been doing business with us for a long time. And when I say I don't know what to expect, I really don't. Oh, uh, be honest. I'm hoping she's not even gonna be there. It ain't gonna be there for a while, so we can just get it and go. As soon as we get there, as long as ain't nothing blocking the camper, we gonna pull up back into it so can't nobody block it. I'm gonna knock and see if anybody's in there and if uh, she comes to the door, I'm gonna see if I can't uh, get her up out the camper and talk her out of some money or talk her out of her camper. She has some fly things to say sometimes. I've run into her a few times uh, at the Mumford lot and at the Aniston lot. I've been knowing her for about three years now. Uh, I even joked with her just about a month back. I told her don't make me come out there and get that camper. We was cutting up and here it is. I gotta come out here and pay her a visit. And she's gonna be in her jammies. Oh, see, Crossroads Bel Air. You remember this one, don't you, Neil? I was like, I, if, I if I see it, you probably see it before I will. I don't think it has any slides. That's it, right there. Yeah, right there, right? In the front. Right in the front. We're just sitting there. We need to find a four way so we let these jacks up. All right. It's locked. Ain't nobody here. We got a full way. Where is the fit it? Oh yeah, right here. It's all about like a, at the end of it, got a full way like you let them legs down with it. Just let the legs down. I need a wrench. Far so good she ain't here. We got a padlock on this, so don't look like she's gonna be back for a while. Drag that out. Jimmy? Huh? We gotta drag that one off, it ain't coming up. It ain't coming up. Look, look. I hate this part. Damn! What? Uh -huh. <laughs> that stinks. Maggots. Come on back. Sir? What's that? That chair and that table? Nah, I don't, this ain't ours. We repossessing this camper. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I can't tell you to take something that ain't mine. Well, I moved down here from Pennsylvania, you know, it's like, well, I lived down here for a time, uh, 16 years, married and everything else, but, oh yeah, if I can take that stuff, I can take it up there to the, you guys want to help me? Take that up there? <laughs> <laughs> Thank God she wasn't here, I was not wanting to put up with that. Didn't know what to expect, so we're going to hurry up and get out of here in case she, she rides up here in a minute.
when we uh, when we do repossessions on these campers, we use this lot right here. It's for the the older campers, the ones that's going to need a a little work. Uh, needs a little more construction than other campers. That it's, we use this, man. Sometimes we it's kind of like a salvage yard for campers. We we'll look at it later on and see if. We'll let Sean decide if he's wanting to fix it up, do something with it, or uh, if we, we might we might part them out. I mean, I, I haven't seen the inside of this Bel Air. I, I'm familiar with this camper. Me and Neil actually repossessed it probably about a year ago, and it was, the inside was pretty good. It had been took care of. So we sold it to this woman for a very reasonable down payment, and uh, she just needed something to stay in temporarily. And just judging by the outside of it, it looks pretty, it looks pretty rough. It needs a good detailing. She's got a, a master lock on the on the door, so we can't get into it. We'll, we'll come back later and cut that lock off if she don't come back and get this camper, and we'll we'll kind of inspect and see what needs to be done with it. Decide whether we're gonna put it back on the lot or not.